Hey, what's up on my Aries people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm coming to give all my Aries singles a reading, okay? I love reading. So first, I'm gonna get your overall energy through the Voyager Tarot deck. I tell everybody tarot card readings are like advice. You either take it or you leave it. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? So, um, let's see. Let's see what you guys got going on. This is for anybody with Aries in their placement, in their birth chart. All right, the magician. Ooh. And then you have the eight of cups in reverse at the bottom. It says stagnation in reverse. I get a sense of some of you having to finagle your way out of a situation. Like, that's why you're single. It was like you had to maneuver, do the best you could. Because it's like for so long you've like stayed in this situation and you didn't really have to it was like almost like i get a codependency situation like you stayed there maybe because this person maybe um emotionally took care of you maybe financially took care of you it was a lot of elements in play which is why you didn't necessarily um stop dealing with this person but it was like now it's like now that you're out of this situation it's like I feel like you've manifested a whole new life. Like, in my mind, I'm hearing that song. Is it Aladdin? A whole new world? Like, yeah, this is a whole new ball game for you. It's like you're manifesting new love, new money, uh, prosperity. It's, it's all kinds of stuff y'all got going on. I, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. All right? So, let's see. I'm going to use the before date to get your pass. Get three cards for my Aries pass. Then we'll look into your present and your future. All right, three cards for my Aries past, from their past. All my single Aries, just way too many. Yeah, I feel like maybe you guys still got ties to this person in the past. Like, why you can't let it go? You got the five of wands in reverse. I get a sense of like too many people being involved in your situation, whether it's family, friends, just too many people. Everybody, it's only two people in a relationship. It's five people right here. It's too many people. The Ace of Cups came out sideways. And I get a sense of somebody prematurely like jumping into situations. I need to. I just, I just need one. But you like prematurely like jump into these situations. Like like you fought, might fall in love fast. And it's like somebody may be not even consistent. Like maybe this person wasn't consistent from the jump. But you still like got involved with them. With the strength card in reverse. The Leo energy. I get a sense, I had did a reading before for Aries uh, women, actually, and I get a sense of, like, abuse. Like, somebody maybe verbally abusive, maybe somebody always yelling, talking, like, just loud. I get a sense of somebody feeling intimidated because this person is always yelling. It was like no calm in this person now. Like no matter what you say, and what you do, it's almost like I feel like you were being perfect. <laughs> you could be perfect and this other person would still just find a reason to yell or be mad. Like just mad for no reason. And with this two of cups here, I really feel like, you know, at the bottom, I really feel like you guys, it's like it was kind of like a love at first sight, a really strong attraction. It's like maybe when you guys literally first start dealing with each other it's like you kept like you you didn't stop it's like you didn't miss a beat that's why i feel like this was a, a premature relationship all right so i'm gonna use my regular writer deck for the clarification for the present for my aries singles present situation for my aries singles the hierophant 
some of you might really be married to this person or in a deep committed relationship others of you guys i feel like maybe you may be in school trying to go to school and try to be in a relationship and that's why i said you're doing a whole lot with the magician here but i feel like with the stagnation card here also i feel like it's like almost like sometimes you take two steps forward and like three steps back sometimes so i really get a sense of telling you guys to kind of slow down and focus on one thing at a time it's like you can't do everything at one time you can accomplish it all but just do one thing at a time but I feel like somebody also was playing games. That's why I said somebody wasn't consistent about a relationship. You might be in a relationship now. Yeah, but I still feel like somebody gives this idea with the five, uh, the, the king of pentacles. I get a sense of... Um, I really feel like maybe a person has changed. Like, people have evolved presently. Like, they're no longer as immature but I feel like it's more so this situation is here because of financial stability. That's why I said earlier, I get this feeling of codependency. Like you guys work together longer because of what you can offer each other as far as stability. Because the Ten of Cups is in reverse at the bottom. It wasn't real. I ain't going to say it's not real love. It's just that at some point it became like a marriage of convenience or a relationship of convenience. Clarify the strength card for the present for my Aries singles. Yeah, I but I guess somebody learned the truth about somebody real quick. Or somebody just got tired of being walked over or talked about or just demeaning. Like somebody really found their worth. Like, hey, you know what? With the Empress here, like, I got enough going on. I might have kids. I might have a career. I might have a job, a business. Like, I don't have time to deal with your shit. Literally. I get it since I hear uh, Bernadette and, uh, <laughs> Bernadette and, uh, was it, uh, was, is it waiting to excel? Get your shit. Get your shit. And get out. Okay? Get out. That's how I feel. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to say that. Let's get the, the present situation for my uh for my Aries singles. Clarify the hair fine, the five of wands. The nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like you happier alone. It's like, you know, like you tending to your everyday things, like tending to life, like, and I really feel like, you know you're hungry right now you're very ambitious you're very driven and it's like this person this commitment i, I almost feel like was holding you back from being a greater person like yeah they might have been cool to you know be with at that certain time but i feel like you're getting your wish as you want i know you want a commitment like you get that but you don't get it in the way that you thought you were going to get it with them this is a totally new venture Too many clarify the king of pentacles the judgment call yeah yeah i feel like somebody the reason why all of this isn't happening or stopped happening is because once you learn the truth about somebody or you really put your foot down in this situation i really feel like you have a calling to focus focus on something else right now that's why this didn't work out because on the outside i really feel like on the outside looking in it was that kind of situation to where like it looked good on the outside but like on the inside like the past like the foundation was never solid clarify the strength card in reverse and the ace of swords The Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody finally got just just got out of this shit. They took this sword and they cut themselves loose. Like what the Eight of Swords say. Like you might not be the person that really put that bond fold on, but you're definitely the person that can take it off. It's like you're never really bound to begin with. You keep yourself bound to this situation. I finally feel like somebody is getting out of certain situations. I feel like somebody was really dependent on somebody about their money. All right, let's get some um, things that you can work on before your next relationship. Use the same after deck, the after tarot. Something my airy singles can work on. The page of swords. But stop being petty all the time. 
Sometimes you could be real petty. Like, you could argue for no reason, okay? Them little minor arguments don't, uh-uh. Because it's like how you're coming off. You may think that you're coming off, like, innocent to people. But honestly, you're kind of being a jerk sometimes, just to be honest. And then here go the strength card. I say uh, get a balance on your masculine ener masculine and feminine er energy, right? If you're a man watching this, it's like sometimes you have to be softer. If you're a woman, sometimes you have to submit, right? Not have to, but those are things that that kind of, how do I say this? Um, not attract, but they kind of balance each other out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, if you... And I feel like this is that, you know, before it's like you couldn't really get a grip on the strip, this lion, right? He was like out of control. But I really get like now you understand maybe what it takes or understanding what it takes to be in a relationship mutually. I really feel like I, I get a sense of telling you to look at yourself, look in the mirror, there's some things that maybe you need not physically change yourself. But I'm saying look in the mirror in a sense of you need to like be honest with yourself about your part that you played in this uh, the last relationship. Only so you can be better and be stronger in your next relationship. Like working on yourself so you can be a better you for the for your actual person. And the chariot in reverse. I get a sense of not moving too fast. Yeah, with the seven of wands. Be more protective of your heart. Like, don't just give your heart to any and everybody, okay? And stop moving so fast. Kind of let things pan out naturally, okay? All right, so we're going to get a lyric out of the lyric box. And then we're going to get you an oracle card. Advice from the Price of Love Oracle deck. So let's see. Let's just get it overall. Janae Iko triggered. So it says, go figure, you were the trigger. You bought me to an obstructed view when you knew the picture was bigger. Who am I kidding? Knew from the beginning, you ruin everything. You do it every time. You are my enemy. You motherfucking right. You motherfucking right, I'm bitter. Okay, don't be bitter, okay? Don't get triggered, you know what I'm saying? Don't let all that shit fuck with you. Because at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said this person was kind of petty from the get-go. Like, you know, they really... I feel like maybe sometimes, like, they bought up old shit. They kind of, like, tried to talk down on you about who you were. And it's like you are a fucking fantastic person. Why were they even trying to do some shit like that, right? Like, you don't do that shit. Bringing up old shit. That's some whole shit. All right, let's get a piece of advice for my Aries singles. From the Price of Love Oracle deck. These are some beautiful cards. I love them. All right, give me one for my Aries singles. Something they can work on. Any advice? Any advice for my Aries Y'all don't want no advice? Yeah, y'all like that sometimes. Y'all really don't want no advice sometimes. That's <laughs> honest, real shit. Friendship. Mm. And divine timing. Yeah, that's why I said, like, get to know somebody sometimes before. Like, I feel like stop jumping into these premature situations and kind of get to know the person. Because ultimately, you find out, like, yeah, things was... I mean, I feel like with this person, though, from the beginning, you kind of knew what kind of person they were. And when you got into this relationship with them prematurely, like, you still kind of just, you know, I don't know. Look, let's just read this. But I feel like you need to stop rushing and kind of become friends with somebody before you actually be, um, begin this rela next relationship. It says... <laughs> Focus on a friendship first. Friend zone. Balance your relationship and friendships. Accept friend support. Enjoy platonic aspects of a relationship. Love through friendship. Agreeing to be friends. An iconic fist bump between two individuals is pictured as an informal way of greeting, signifying companionship, approval, and or respect. Yeah. That's it, you guys. Like, just kind of, you know, take things slower, okay? All right, all my Aries singles. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video. And I will see y'all on the next go-round. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.